Planning ahead is an essential skill that can help you to stay on track and achieve your goals with less stress and more ease by pre-planning in your planner. And that will help you to take control of your schedule, avoid last minute surprises, and make the most of your time. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some tips that will help you to pre-plan in your planner so that you can achieve maximum productivity and less stress. Okay, you guys, I love pre-planning and I just recently re-implemented back into my planner routine and I have been really loving it. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how I pre-plan. So that way, if this is something that may be able to help you, you could see exactly how to do it. So there's, there are some tips I'm gonna share with you and then we're gonna kind of go through the process. So I typically keep that in my next month section and sometimes I'll also include the next actual month of inserts. So that way it's just there and ready for me to use and um, I could just transfer it over to my calendar section when I'm ready to go, all right? So I'm gonna share with you the breakdown of these pre-planning inserts. These have been in our shop for some time and they were a hot item some time ago, but we have so many different items in our shop that I feel like some things get lost in translation. So that is also a part of why I'm doing this to just kind of revive some of those inserts that have were once super popular and that kind of got lost because they're like at the bottom of everything because as I'm adding new items that shows up at the top. So. I want to share with you guys some things that maybe you may have forgotten about and some things that have or are currently helping me and pre-planning inserts are one of those things all right so this is how they look from the top or from the left rather you have your month at a glance okay and then you have your top priorities you have your meal planning ideas you have your to-do list and then if you have a classic size planner this box here fits a sticker with a quote on it or anything like that that's going to inspire you okay so you can use this for whatever you want you can write a quote in here sky's the limit okay so this is how they look so i'm just going to pull one out just so it's easier to write on it and i'm going to need my planner as well as well because i would typically go by my month at a glance pages my year at a glance rather i'm sorry to see what i have going on for that next month all right so i typically come here to write everything in and this is only just appointments all right so this isn't like to-do list items priorities meal planning ideas any of that stuff that's on this pre-planning sheet this is only just outings and events all right so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to decorate your page if you so choose i have done a decoration session of this page a time or two but we're going to kick but we're gonna keep it simple today, okay? We're just literally gonna show you how to use them. And so that way you can implement these in your planner um, if you feel like it's something that would benefit you. By the way, the back looks like so. So it's just a notes page if you wanna take some additional notes. So here is a closer view of the inserts so that you can see exactly how they look. All right, and I do hope that you can see them because I'm using a different lens today just to see um, a more wider angle view, all right? So there you have it. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more just so you can see a little bit closer. All right, there we go. All right, so again, first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to write in all of those appointments from our at a glance pages from March. As you can see, I do a pretty good job of writing in everything. So I know everything that we have scheduled. And then also I'm gonna check my phone because I know that there's been a time or two where I've been on the go and I wasn't able to write it in my planner. And so I'm gonna transfer it into my planner, um, but I'm gonna keep it on my phone too because I put it in there most likely because I needed a reminder. And I wanna make sure that that stays there. All right, so we're just gonna go day by day. So we're going to plan for the month of March, okay? Just because this is pre-planning this isn't current planning and we're in February right now so I'm gonna write March at the top of the page just so I know what month this is for okay all right and um, remember we wanted to talk through some tips as well while I'm showing you how to do this so the first tip that I would say is to set aside some time okay if you want to pre-plan effectively you're gonna need to set aside some time in your schedule to plan ahead because this takes time so whether it's once a week or once a month or daily make sure you dedicate time to pre-planning okay especially if you want to decorate this page and do all the things to this page you're gonna need a little bit of time to do that sometimes what I'll do is I'll just pre 
pre-plan like six months and then I'll just stick them in my planner just so I have them ready and available to me. And then I use this page to go ahead and plan out my monthly and my weeks because this has more information than just my at a glance pages. So this is a great page to just pull out, have it alongside you to plan out your month and your week. So that way you know exactly what you need to do with your priorities, your meal plan, your to-do list, your events and all that stuff. And it's, you're ready to go. All right. So you want to review your goals. So before you start pre-planning, review your goals and priorities. Again, look at your at a glance pages if this is something that you use. And this is going to help you to focus on what's important and avoid wasting time on tasks that don't matter. So that's number two tip. And number three, let's jump right into it, is to identify key tasks. All right, so make a list of key tasks. So if you're not ready to quite write in all of the things, make a list first of all of those key tasks key tasks you need to complete in the upcoming period. And this can include deadlines, meetings, appointments, and other like crucial information that you, you know you need to get done, okay? And then also allocate time. Once you have that key list of tasks, allocate time in your planner for each one and be realistic, okay? So when it comes to your to-do list here, you wanna make sure that you keep in mind how much time it's gonna take to do that so that you're no, not overbooking yourself for the month and you don't have so much to do and you complete you know, it just was never realistic to begin with. So this, although it is pre-planning, you want to be realistic with all of the things that you know that you want to get done and you want to make sure there are things that you can actually get done in that monthly period. If you don't think you can, like I said, I do tend to pre-plan on multiple sheets. Just push it to April and write it in your to-do list for April. All right. And then number five is to use a system that's what this is okay whether it's paper planner digital planner combination of the two make sure you have a system that's going to work for you and that's going to help you stay organized and avoid missing important deadlines and appointments okay so i just went through quickly five tips one through five number one was set aside time number two review your goals number three identify key tasks number four allocate time and number five use a system so i have two more tips for you guys and we'll talk through those as I'm going along in the process okay so we're going to identify or review our goals and our key tasks and we're going to use that to fill this in along with the appointments that we know we have to, for March all right I hope I didn't talk your head off okay <laughs> y'all know how I get all right so we're just going to start writing in all the things we know on the first and the second Addison has early release from school and on the second she has her uh, parent-teacher conference okay and that's at 12 45 so I want to be clear with that okay and then also and this is just a quick tip as well is that when you're writing in that line item just make sure you can again accomplish those things don't write in all of the things and overbook yourself to where you can't get any of it done okay we don't have anything for the third which is a Friday, but that's typically my ministry day. So I'm gonna write in ministry. Okay, I don't typically put that on my at a glance page, but I'm gonna put it here just so we can see that clearly. Okay, number five, or I'm sorry, number four, she has an event at our gym. So I'm gonna put that on here. All right, the fifth is a runway show. A, a friend of mine is doing, The my friend that did the earrings for our lifestyle box. She does a runway show. So I'll be going to that. Okay, sixth, the book fair at 11, which is a Monday. I typically try to volunteer for that. The 17th is also the book fair. Okay, and just so you know, this is your planner, okay? So if you wanna use this as your planner for the month of March, you can totally do that. And you can just stock up your calendar sections with these pre-planning inserts. Cover this up with whiteout, and you have your whole entire plan for the whole month of March, okay? And so that way you don't have to use a monthly layout or weekly layout. If you just wanna use this page right here for the whole entire month, that, that works, okay? So Wednesday, I'm not going to put anything, I want to put something for Wednesday, but I'm, I don't think I am. It's our meeting, so I might as well just do it. Okay. And that's every Wednesday. So the 8th. 
okay and then the ninth we don't have anything we typically do family worship and that's every thursday oh and then addison has tennis on tuesday which is um the second so i'm not gonna be able to put that there just only because i don't know if she'll be able to make it because she has the conferences so i'm not gonna put it there for tuesday but i am gonna put it for the seventh all right the 10th is a friday again ministry and so that's why I typically don't like to write every single thing here, like ministry and things like that, because that's stuff I know that we have to do. I typically will come here and put events and stuff like that, like book fair, Kelly's run show, runway show, the event at a lifetime, things like that, because those are things I need to make sure that I don't forget about. You know what I mean? Everything else is kind of like, you know, I do it every day. And so I don't necessarily need to write it in. Okay, so, but just for the sake of this video, just so you can see kind of how it would look all filled in, I will go ahead and write it in. Okay, on the 11th, we have an anniversary party. And there's an event in our local town that I wanna write. I haven't decided if we're gonna go, but if I don't write it in, we're definitely not going. Okay, and then the 12th, which is Sunday, we have our meeting day. Again, this is something that we do every week. So that's why I didn't write it in the other spots. I technically could, which would be on the 5th. I could put meeting day. All right, the 13th, which is a Monday. Nothing there. Okay, 14th. Same old stuff that we do, <laughs> not old stuff, y'all, but but I'll write it in just so you can see. Okay, so again, you're just going through and writing in all of the things you know that you need to do. On, you know that are on your monthly calendar okay 17th they have a digital learning day okay and then also it is a Friday so ministry okay 18th they have a fest here in our town and it's from the first through the fifth so um, or one to five, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, let me move y'all up so y'all can see because this is a lot more to continue to write. Okay, so this is gonna take some time again. That's why, once again, not to keep repeating it, I only put stuff on here that's our outing and things like that because I do put all of this stuff on my actual monthly calendar. Um, so this isn't typically how it would look for me, but just to give you a sense of what your options are, because you could write all of this on here, every single thing that's on your monthly calendar, um, or you could just identify those key things, okay? So the 19th is a Sunday, so that's our meeting day. Okay, and then we, again, all over again. So for the rest of this month, um, I'm just gonna write in those key things. So Tuesday, the 23rd is STEM night. So you can kind of see like when you only write in those key things, you're, it's, a lot of this is going to be blank unless you have a lot going on. Okay. And you can also use this for work. This is a great insert for work. And um, so you could use it for that as well. And then I have a ladies night on the 25th. At a friend's house. Okay. So I'm not going to go back in and fill all of those things in, y'all. Um, but you get the gist of, of what I'm saying. All right, then when it comes to top priorities, you want to put your top three, top five, whatever those priorities are for the month, you want to put them here in this space. So I know that one of the top priorities for this month is um, the anniversary party that I'm going to. And so I want to put that here just so I can see because I do need to buy a gift for that. So I want to make sure that I have that as a top priority, okay? Okay. 
And that is on the 11th. And I forget the time, but I am gonna write it in. So I'm just gonna put the at sign so I can write that in. And then also I'm going to start pioneering And that's gonna start in March. And so I wanna make sure that I'm prepared mentally for that. So I'm gonna write that as one of the top. I'm gonna to put little dots here just so I could have like, I'll, I'll know that you know each one of those are different things. Okay. And then one more thing that I know that we have, I have going on is that ladies night. And again, this could be however many things that you want. Um, I'm just putting three there, okay? So those are the things that are coming up in terms of top priorities. All right, I also love putting meal plan ideas here. Um, in our meal and recipe planner, which we have a full meal and recipe planner if you weren't aware of that, and this just gives you all of the things meal planning. So you have a calendar here, you have some recipes to try. So this is where I would typically put that. Again, since we're pre-planning, if I can identify a few things I know I wanna try because these set of inserts are just for the month. Um, so when this month comes around, I can write the recipes to try here um, for this month and then I'm building, you know, adding to this list as this month, you know, as we're in this month. But since this is ahead of time planning, um, I like to sit and think of some things that I know I may wanna cook for that particular month just to help me out and give me some ideas. Also if you guys aren't aware we do have a full-on meal planning ebook okay it's 56 pages and it comes with four free printables included in the ebook that will help you to do all things meal planning if that's an area that you struggle in so i'll leave a link in the description just in case you guys are interested and um, you can head on over to the shop and take a look at that ebook okay so now when it comes to meal planning ideas i'm gonna go into pinterest because that's what i love okay i do also have um, lots of different inserts in here that give me ideas. Um, the core of this, this front half right here is it gets pulled out month by month. Then I also have a family favorite. So sometimes I may pull for this when it comes to meal planning. But again, we're just doing, we're writing ideas. Okay. And so we want to make sure that we um, come up with fresh ideas to cook so that nobody's bored. Okay. So when it comes to that, I do have a full on collection called Yummo. You guys are more than welcome to head over to Pinterest and follow that list there. I also have a couple of different boards for like keto and things like that. So welcome to head over there to check it out to see what recipes I have pinned. So I just look and if there's something that I can identify and I can say, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try that, then I'll write it in here. And I already eyeball a few of them. Okay. So this creamy tomato salmon pasta, I'm going to write here. Because you guys, I'm actually using this for my March. I'm not just doing this for the purpose of showing you. I'm using this for March when that comes up. And I'm going to use this to plan out my month. I'm going to be able to pull out this one sheet, take it to my monthly layout, fill in all of the things. And then I'm going to be able to take it to my weekly layout, punch in my top priorities. Um, and then my meal plan ideas I can put in my meal planning section. My to-do list I can pop into my weekly layout as well. And it's just so helpful, you guys. I'm telling you, pre-planning is it especially if you can get ahead of some months and um and then again when you're pre-planning you're going to be adding to it as you know time goes along you don't have to sit down in one session and plug in all the things because if you know depending on how far in advance you're pre-planning you may not know all the dates so um you're just going to keep plugging them in here and um, that way when it's time to execute and plan out your month you'll be ready to go right um, i also wanted to try this honey garlic chicken and you don't have to feel like you have to fill in this whole thing. So if you're like me, I only cook three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The other days are leftovers. So technically, if I look at the calendar, and I don't always do just, you know, new ideas. This is meal planning ideas. So this is new, family favorites, any crock pot, any freezer meals that you may already have. You know, you can write all of that in here so that way when you're ready to your meal planning, you can just transfer them over. So really, since I only cook Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that's three, six, nine, 12. I don't know how many, maybe 31 days in. Let me see how many, how many days of the week I would be cooking in March. 
All right, start, the first starts on a Wednesday, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 14 days, okay? So there's not 14 spots here. These are just ideas, just so you know. Um, just to come up with just a few key things. During the month, I find that I also cook a lot of the same things, you know, just because that's easy as well. And so when I sit down to do my menu planning, that's when I'm going to take these ideas and take recipes that I wanted to try that I wrote in, if I did, for that particular month. And then I'm going to start plugging them into the calendar, okay? So you don't have to feel like you need to write in every single idea. Sometimes that stuff doesn't come to you until later. I also wanted to try this black pepper chicken. Okay. And crock pot pepper steak. Okay, and I like to do different things. So I like to do a pork recipe, I like to do chicken recipe, I like to do a beef recipe, a seafood recipe, um, all of those things so I could keep it fresh. So let's do this creamy salmon. Let's do this spaghetti. And y'all, I have been wanting to try a ramen for so long, like to make it at home, because we love ramen. And I pinned this recipe here for a pork ramen. I'm not sure if I do pork. I might, because I don't have a pork recipe yet. I think I'm gonna try this spicy pork ramen, y'all. And if I do, I'll try to film it so y'all can see how I made it. Okay, so we've got our month at a glance. We have our top priorities. We have our meal planning ideas. So now we just need to do our to-do list, okay? Now, this is just literally dumping out all of the things that you feel you need to do for that particular month, okay? Now, depending on the month, like March, I may add some things from February that I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete. So if I complete them in February, then I'll go ahead and check them off from March as well. So you may have to remember to do that. So um, you can either stick with what you know you only want to do in March, or you can add some things that you're pretty sure that you're not able to do for the current month, depending on where you are in the month, and go ahead and move those over to this to-do list as well. But you just have to remember to come back here and check it off here as well, okay? So I wanted to contact, um, we had a cleaning service here at some point and I wasn't always satisfied with them so we wanted to find someone else to um, just a couple of times a month to come in and clean to offload me because it's a lot okay so I definitely want to put that on my list for March I know I'm not gonna get to that in February okay um spring is coming up and I like to do the saw not the sod I'm sorry the pine straw so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my list because I'm the one that lays out all the pine straw around here. And I know that's something that's gonna be done in March. And then I wanna start my gardening journey. Um, you guys know we do that every year, Addison and I, and it's always a fail, but we still do it. <laughs> Just because why not? I wanna paint the ceiling. I'm pretty sure I just spelled ceiling wrong. And then we're working on the kitchen. And we're gonna start that in March. Okay, we're gonna paint the cabinets, we're gonna do a lot of things in there on our own, do the backsplash and see how that works out for us. Okay, and then I want to do a family photo shoot. Not sure if that's gonna be in March, but I'm gonna write it in. Okay, and there was a couple, oh, I wanna fix the bathroom, the bathtub. And I want my husband to assemble the table. And I a lot of times put stuff here that I need my husband to do because I need to be able to remind him, okay? So even if it's not necessarily for me, I still write it in, all right? And then I have to schedule a doctor's appointment for Addison, which is probably gonna get done this month because I wrote it on my, on my to-do list for this month. So I'm gonna try to get that done this month, but just in case I can't, 
it's on eight, it's on March. Okay. All right. And I'm trying to think if that is it. Cause I do have a whole nother to-do list right here for February. And some of these things may not get done. And if they don't get done, then I will push them to February. Okay. And so I already have my sheet pre-planned out for February for March. I'm sorry. Um, which will be in my planner. And so at the end of the month, when I'm doing my wrap up, then I'll figure out what I wasn't able to do. And then I'll push that onto my to-do list for March. Okay. I also know, and that's why I put my top priorities here is I need to purchase a gift for that couple for their anniversary party. And I need to figure out what I'm wearing. So I'm going to put by outfit because I believe it's formal. Okay. I don't need anything for that. I don't need anything for that. It's just a highlight for the month. All right. And again, this is going to ge keep getting added to as time goes along. So don't feel like you have to add everything right now. Okay. All right. And then I want to put a quote at the bottom or an affirmation. What do I want to do? Quote or affirmation y'all. And I need to look that up to see what I want to do. Again, we could put a sticker there if we just want it to be jazzy. This will fit a box, um, like a colorful box from Fancy Plans. I mean, not, well, from Fancy Plans, yes. And from any other company that you know has the boxes, standard size boxes, or a quote or anything like that because it's formatted the same way. All right? So let's see what quote I want to inspire me for that month. Okay, I like this one that says, you are what you do, not what you say you, you'll do. Okay. Okay, just a simple page. Y'all know that I'm super simple now. For some reason, I don't plan like I used to. Um, I don't use all the things. I just literally write on my planner page so that way I can make sure that I stay focused on getting things done. Sometimes I find that when I pull out all the stickers and all the things, it just really throws me off. Um, although from time to time, I do love a good sticker, okay? And then um, you could also put a sticky note here too if that's something that works for you. All right. all right, so we've got two more tips, all right? Number six is to review and adjust, okay? So periodically review your pre-planning system and make adjustments as necessary, okay? This doesn't have to be the for everything. If you find that something's not working, then make some adjustments and that's going to help you to stay on track and make the most out of your time. And then finally, y'all, and this is an important one, be flexible. Okay. Remember that things don't always go according to plan. So be flexible and adaptable. Don't get discouraged if something doesn't work out the way you expect it to and be open to making changes as necessary. That is so important. Okay. So be flexible, review and adjust. Those are the last two tips and we are done. We have pre-planned for our entire month of March and y'all, I feel so good about it. Okay. So remember that pre-planning your planner can help you stay organized. Okay. It's going to help you to avoid last minute surprises, which we don't want. And it's going to help you to make the most of your time. So by setting aside time to plan ahead, identify key tasks, allocating time, using a specific system that works for you and being flexible and reviewing and adjusting, which are all the things we discussed today, you can take control of your schedule and achieve your goals with less stress and more ease. So that's it for this video, guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, these inserts are available in Fancy Plans Co. If you're looking for a system for pre-planning, these are just perfection, okay? And again, you can stack them so you could have, you know, your next six months pre-planned, pull this out of your planner, take it and put it with your monthly. So I would take it like so. As you can see, I've got some in here ready and waiting to be planned on. And so let's say my March, I'm ready to plan for my March. I'm going to pull out my pre-planning page. I'm going to fill in all of the dates because again, we've took them off of our at a glance page. So we don't need to come back to that to look for anything. We already have it all here. We've been keeping track of it here. Okay. And then I'm going to take all these things, dump them out on the calendar, and then I'm going to move on to my weekly. I'm going to take my to-do list here. I'm going to transfer it here. Um, I typically don't put goals here. I put my cleaning schedule here. But if I did, I would take my goals, my top three or some new goals and write them here. And then my priorities, as you can see, I already know what they are. I can write them in here and I'm ready to go, y'all. And it feels so good to be prepared. And that's what this is all about, y'all. So I'm going to pop this in the section so I have it ready for me when I'm ready to plan for my March. And that's how I pre-plan, y'all. 
So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel. I hope that you found enjoyment in this video, which means you'll like this video. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel as well if you're new and comment below and let us know some of your pre-planning techniques. Let me know if you've used this insert before, if you remember this insert, because remember this is an OG insert. So I pulled it out the vault, y'all, okay? And let me know your thoughts. Again, any comments that you um, add below really do help me in the algorithm and I read all of your comments. So I hope that you guys will come back and you'll catch me for another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.